Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. How you guys doing out there today? So we're going to start in India where lightning and hailstorms claim another 45 lives across the country. Death toll rises to at least 250. And uh, they've been very hard hit this spring for sure. And the storms are just the latest in a series of unusually strong storms in India this year. The death toll since the start of the month has now reached at least 250. And more than 440 people were injured. 18 people were killed, at least 12 injured in the state of Bihar, where several houses were damaged, trees were uprooted, trapping people. In the neighboring state of Jakhard, uh, people, 12 people were killed and at least 28 injured due to lightning. 15 people were killed in Uttar Pradesh and more than 12 injured in storm, rain, and lightning related incidents. They had power supply disruptions as well and had a lot of hail as well. Again, destroying crops, including mango, lychee, and bananas. So, you know, they've been hit by just about everything you could think of over that way. So that's definitely an area we want to send our prayers and positive intentions to and see if we could calm down some of these storms or at least have people be able to get out of the way or, or find safety and shelter wherever possible. 10,000 homes are damaged after a 5.7 earthquake strikes Jilin province in China. And uh, this struck on the 27th. The uh, USGS was reporting the quake as a 5.1, which they do often is, you know, downgrade things. And often they don't even report things at all, <laughs> as we've seen so often. So the government has set up 90 tents, 200 beds, 70 quilts, 500 boxes of drinking water, and instant noodles to the quake zone. Sounds like they're going to need more than that. Uh, and then they're having telecommunications problems with lines down, as to be expected. Powerful dust storm hits Iran, causing near zero visibility, injuring 99 people. And uh, this swept by on the 28th. And it was caused by strong upper level uh, winds. Uh, wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour lasted for about 12 hours. That's pretty long. And it affected eastern Iran, southwestern Afghanistan, and northwestern Pakistan. Local media reported at least 99 people were injured in Iran alone. While dust storms are common in the region, a 12 hour event is rare. And we've seen that over there now this year. Two journalists were killed covering subtropical storm Alberto in North Carolina. And uh, always a dangerous thing to be out there in that type of weather. And that's definitely a dangerous job and perhaps it's underappreciated in many cases. A news anchor and a photojournalist working for WIFF were killed by a downed tree while covering subtropical storm Alberto in North Carolina. And so they're working for an affiliate of WYFF of Greenville, South Carolina. Anchor Mike McCormick and photojournalist Aaron Schmelzer were killed in North Carolina's Polk County after a tree fell on their vehicle while driving on Highway 176 near Tryon. They were covering the flooding and severe weather associated with subtropical storm Alberto and had just interviewed Tryon Fire Chief Jeffrey Tennant. They told Tennant to be careful with Alberto, Alberto's remnant, expected to bring more heavy rains and mudslides this week. He told them to be careful too. Ten minutes later we get the call and it was them. So Alberto did end up causing deaths unfortunately and it's just turned into a rainmaker. Volcanic smog from Kilauea volcano blankets the Marshall Islands. 370 or 3700 kilometers away and they call it VOG and so the haze is moving that way towards the Marshall Islands and you know as as they said you know Kilauea is the world's most active volcano and it's one of five on the big island it started erupting on the 3rd of May prompting about 2,000 people to flee from their mountainside homes Scientists believe the volcanic activity may be a precursor to a major eruption similar to the one that shook the island in the mid-20s. And we can see the map here with the the VOG 
moving straight westward, heading over towards Guam and the Marshall Islands. And the uh, Pacific trade winds are, are what's carrying it that way. And of course the rains will help to uh, decrease that. So just a reminder, please don't roast marshmallows over the erupting Hawaii volcano. So this comes from the USGS. So remember, when you, when you go and you're checking out the lava flow, don't roast marshmallows over Kilauea. Because they're not going to really taste that good. Um, it, as well, you know, it's really not going to be very, very pleasant, as well as not safe. Just, just not a good idea. So it did have an eruption that sent ash up to 15,000 feet high. And there was a 4.5 earthquake overnight.